KBS World Radio, the overseas service of the Korean Broadcasting System, coming to you from Seoul, the capital of the Republic of Korea. We now begin today's English broadcast on KBS World Radio. From Seoul, Korea, KBS World Radio News Today starts right now. On today's broadcast, the basic subway rate in the Seoul metropolitan area will be raised starting Saturday. Fukushima plant operator Tepco begins accepting complaints about declines in sales and prices of fisheries and agricultural products. South Korea finishes second in the men's roller skating relay at the Asian Games after a premature celebration. This is KBS World Radio News. I'm Kui hee The basic rate on the subway system in the Seoul metropolitan area will be raised by 150 won to the 1,400 won, or around one U.S. dollar, starting Saturday. According to the Seoul city government, on Monday, the rate hike will be enforced for the entire subway system operating in Seoul, Incheon, Gyeonggi province. Basic fares for youths will increase 81 to 800 won and for children by 51 to 500 won. The hike also applies to chargeable commutation cards. The rate for cards that apply deduction for every 20 kilometers traveled will increase from 55,000 won to 61,600 won and from 117,800 won to 123,400 won for cards without deductions. Fukushima plant operator Tokyo Electric Power Company has begun accepting complaints of damage from the discharge of wastewater from the Quake Crippled facility. According to Japan's public broadcaster NHK on Monday, TEPCO began receiving cases by phone and through an office in Ishinomaki, Miyagi Prefecture, north of Fukushima plant. The Ishinomaki office is also offering separate counselling to those struggling to sell their goods due to the water discharge. The plant operator plans to compensate for declines in sales and prices of fisheries and agricultural products in the wake of the release and related rumours and costs incurred in responding to import bans imposed by foreign countries. China has enforced an all-out ban on seafood imports from Japan since the water discharge into the Pacific Ocean began on August 24th. Russia is reportedly considering a similar ban. South Korea finished second in the finals for the inaugural men's roller skating relay at the Hangzhou Asian Games on Monday after a premature cost them their gold medal. In the men's speed skating 3,000 meter relay at Tintang Roller Sports Center in Hangzhou, China, Che No, Che Guangho, and Chong Chorwon finished second in a time of 4 minutes 5.702 seconds, just one hundredth of a second behind Chinese Taipei. After South Korea led the 15 lap race in the beginning, the race boiled down to a neck and neck race between South Korea and Chinese Taipei after 10 laps. Despite Chen Ho and Che Gang Ho maintaining a slim lead, fending off their counterparts until the end, Zhang's premature celebration at the end of the race allowed the Chinese Taipei finisher, Huang Yu Lin, to extend his skate and narrowly win the race. After the medal ceremony, Chung apologized for his mistake and that he feels very sorry towards the fans and teammates that had worked very hard together. South Korea has racked up two gold medals, three silver medals and three bronze medals in roller skating in Hangzhou. 